Right, so two piranha done. Let's move on to the next machine. Back to the gold cup to go. And we're gonna go upstairs again. This is Jack Levin, Jack Levin and the Astro Robin. Now Jack being the mobile platoon squad, just have a few moments in episode 272 to 39. We'll be doing a lot of that as well. Just finding people having time, yeah, quite. So anyway, back to Captain Circuit. So we're going again. Oh, twin Nareen. Skuma and Shio. Aye, Salah! The one thing that's good for Jack here is his good um, grip. The only thing that's not so good is the AI driving. But we've got around that relatively okay in comparison to other ones. If you want to see bad AI driving, check Fort Town 2. Which will be the very next track. But anyway, Captain Circuit is part of the expert of the Gold Cup. Not all the tracks in the Gold Cup are applicable for this one because it has to fit within the F Zero X boundaries and easily um, create can be easily created. And also, you should be able to win on tracks with enough experience. Yeah, the good grip here. It's a lighter version of Big Fang as well, which will be covered. Not necessarily tonight, but it will be covered on other stream. I'm also doing speed runs of this game. Speed runs, well, this will be on Thursday this week. Because I'm running the lockdown Smash Bros. Ultimate stream for Team Regen on Wednesdays and Sundays. And I tend not to stream the day before. So my Twitter handle is RurCaptainJJ. I am the only one of that name. That's so who I started off with. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is my main game at the moment. I'm using a USB N64 controller like this. I'm not using keyboard because you can't control anything on the keyboard. I didn't see who I um, got in that one. Anyway, off to Half Dome 2, this is part of the Novice and Standard Cup of the Gold Cup. It's not that actually expensive. Yeah, don't forget that the URL is not up to date, so I will update the Moobot after I've done this run. So let's see if the AI is going to be a little bit more cooperative. The answer is yes it is. So it's vitally important to hit the dash plates when you should. Especially on the first lap, because if you don't hit the dash plate, you won't you will lose time substantially. Oops. Oh come on. Yeah, this is AI. And this is a master difficulty as well. So they name Master Difficulty Sensei difficulty in this one. That should be alright though. Oh, I got someone. I don't care who, but I did. No, I definitely got someone. And I got another one. And a bit of friendly fire with VOD as well. Come on, at least side attack. As you can tell though, because I destroyed those machines, I got some energy back for a boost, which is vital because there's only one pit area on this track. The vast majority, all the other tracks have at least two pit areas. So I've shot ahead of the field here, which is nice, which is going to make things a little bit more com a bit more bearable when we get to the end of it, though. And also, it's also important to hit the dash base as well if you have low grade, low grade boost. Oops, that's blood tracking out a bit. What? A so, for example, Astro Robin's um boost is D grade and the dash and the dash points are equivalent to C boost grade so that's what you need to do it. Yep, try from getting an extra life, you're correct. And it can only be redeemed but once per track. So we're both on the same wavelength here, funny game. Huh? Anyway, it's on to cave break now, which is another one of the novice standard tracks. So, anyway, I've got to aim for the jump. And because I hit the wall, I didn't. So 
we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Jody, I'm on the s I'm on I I work for you, so please make sure you don't smack me off. Oh shoot, that's a little bit of hypocritical humour because I've just taken Dr. Stewart and EAD out of the money. Dude, they elected not to go on the jump, he's smarter than I think he is. Might be the fuck monkey of the anime. You can do double tap dive there. But I chose not to. This might be to fight me here. This is actually one of the easier tracks in the in this particular mod. Simply because of the fact you can actually boost and you can actually keep your energy up too. So this track has three pit areas. One on one section on the first corner, one in the middle part there, and one out of the final corner. So Even though I didn't do it this time around, it's possible to lap the back half of the field. Double tap dive, you're still learning it. It's going to take time, funny gamer. It's going to take time. Definitely. This, is, this uh, version is really only recommended for those who have at least got expert knowledge in the techniques. Now we're on to uh, sit, sit down now. So I might acceleration and settings again despite it being an A grip because Well this you it tends to work For some reason this track tends to work better with cyber settings. I don't know quite know why that is, but it just seems to do so. Oh yeah, I missed the plate and that is gonna be not very good. And I've hit I know I hit the wall for good measure, which is not so good either. And another one. And I hit go, and and I got delayed by his machine. So all that led to me being a bit, a bit of delay there. Whoop, that was very close to going wrong there. See, that's what you're meant to do. Preferably not hitting the wall, but I haven't lost a machine yet, touch wood, in comparison to the Super Piranha. Yeah, this is very fun. This is very fun once you know all the tracks. The tracks are fun to play at. Billy Radio created all these tracks for F Zero X. The original Climax game. This is based on Climax. Should be fine. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. Not side attack turning a drift. Yeah, I know I've got a couple off. Yeah, Gore was one of those I took out, so we move on. Now onto a uh, problematic track, Eagle Circuit. Part of the champ. This is the championship circuit in Climax, and you can understand why. This is going to be painful. Oh, that's one out. Really wanted to get the black ball off, but I didn't. Oops, a few of them are making a dive for the exit of the circuit because they don't want to be racing on this track anymore because they don't like it. Oops. Couple more off. Talk about adding insult to injury. Oh, that's uh, Space Angle gone as well. Falcon's still left. Super. 
So we lost King Meteor somewhere down the line, which is why Falcon's got the rival thing on him. Jack Lippin had a few spills along the way in his time in this anime. Particularly in the early parts where he got caught up in a lot of incidences. He appeared in virtually every single episode, I think. Aside from a couple, I don't know which ones. But yeah, his character development arc, his character development episode was episode 37, where um, his uh, past almost caught up to him that Michael Chain wanted to rehire him for some reason to be part of his gang again. A life that he left behind. He didn't want to be part of the war. But Michael Chain had his own ways of wisdom to do Darth Vader. In order to try and get him back. Which temporarily did happen. In the sense that um, he was able to get him back again. Let's keep going. Ooh, that's Leon down for count. The AI, the AI do have some issues staying on the track at some point. It's just the way it's been designed, the track sometimes are designed. Good power is still in second place, but I don't know how long that will last. The original version of this track, the original version of all the tracks actually were meant, was unfortunately a little bit too hard for some people. Because of the, I think it was something to do with the scaling of it. The tracks were too large for humans to be able to do it properly, and the AI just shot off in the distance whenever they could. And so the scale was reduced to at least allow the humans to have a chance. But I wouldn't want to play the original version of this one though. The AI came with a little bit too much. Down. I didn't get the jump. But it's alright. It's alright. Only 14 finish time. Not many. I know, Falco was one of those that fell off. Gore did not fall off. No, Falco was one of those that didn't fall off. It's alright. It's alright. Pretty good.
So, Gold Cup on the Sensei now completed with another machine with the Astro Robin. No machines lost in that one, which was good. Two of UC, three at Port Turn 2, two at Sand Ocean. Was it one on Big Blue 2? Yeah, one on Big Blue 2. And also, White Land had four. Illusion had two as well, I think. So I did get quite a number of them off, but not five on each track. So that was like 14 KOs. But at the end of episode 37, Jack was able to go back to the rail after he was quite having now conquered his demons. Anyway, third place is Super Arrow with the King Meteor. Second place is Captain Falcon with the Blue Falcon. And last but not least, the winner is Jack Liven and the Castro Robin. More anime shots this time around. That is episode 2, amazingly. And a little silhouette. A little silhouette of Delay having completed the Gold Cup with Jack Levin. Anyway, I need to do a couple of modifications on the um, on the Moobot, and then I'll be jumping on again in a couple of minutes. We'll be right back.